Okay, so uh, good evening, everyone. So today we are starting with the topic of warp power energy, or we can start a new chapter, warp power energy. So my first topic is warp. So how we define warp? Warp is said to run whenever a force acts on a body and the body moves through a to some distance in the direction of force. So force apply on the body and due to which the body moves some distance along the direction of the force. So like if we put a block here, if we apply the force here, the body is not moving in that direction. Body is not moving in that direction. Body is moving in this direction. So I can say force along the displacement, that is F cos theta, force along the displacement into displacement. Means the displaced, the body move in that direction, in that direction, how much force is applied? When a force apply along the direction of displacement and displacement. So Fs cos theta is the work done. Now here I can realize one thing. Here I can realize one thing. Ki force is a vector quantity, displacement is a vector quantity, and work done is a scalar quantity. As I already mentioned you, in the chapter vectors that whenever you multiply two vector quantity and resultant is a scalar quantity, that means that is the vector dot product, right? Or scalar product. So I can write F dot S is the work done. So first of all, SI unit, Joule dimension, ML square T minus two and Third important thing, scalar quantity. Or work done. Now, work done depends on three factor. Number one, work done depends on three factor. You can see this number one force, number one displacement, number three angle. Yes or no? So, work done depends on three factor force, displacement, and angle between them. Yes or no? Yes. Uh, now, so two things is there. Number one, work done depend on what, which factors. Number one, force. Number two, displacement. And number three, the angle between them. So work done depend on these three factors. Second thing is that types of work done. So work done in mainly three types. Number one, for Constant force, constant force. When your force is constant. Number two, for variable force. Actually, you can explain it by two method only, constant force and variable force, but we still add one more, that is force displacement graph. So I, we make it graph another method, but graph, force displacement method, graphical method is not a, a different method. The actually work done is depend on two way. One is the constant force, another one is the variable force. It means two way you can calculate this. Third one, why is a, we take it as a different method? And here we can see the graphical, graphical calculation money area under the graph. So here force displacement graph, we calculate the area under the graph so we can see one by one so let's start with the let's start with the uh, work done by constant force let's start with the work done by constant force so number one work done by constant force work done by constant force this is the first one, work done by constant force. So obviously, how you solve this, the best example is to show these things, is solve a numerical. So I just give you some question. A body displaced from a point A, a body displaced from a point A, that is 2 comma 4 comma minus 6 meter to Another position RB, which is 6i minus uh, 
मीटर अंडर अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स अंडर अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स इफ इज इक्वल्स टू अंडर अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स इफ इज इक्वल्स टू टू आई प्लस थ्री जे माइनस के Newton. Okay, so the question is that a particle move from a. This is one position to this position under a constant force of this one. Uh, find work done. Find work done. So, what do you mean by that? See here, the value of the force is constant. Yes or no? Two i plus three j minus k. So try this question. I give you two three minute. Then I show. Uh, first one. This one is given. R A. So we can write two i plus four j minus six k and R B. We can write six i minus four j. Plus two k meter. So what is my R of AB? My R of AB is final position minus initial position. Six minus two i plus minus four minus four j plus two minus six. I mean plus k. So how much is it? Two i minus eight j plus eight k. that is in meter and you get the position vector once you get the position vector what is the definition of work done work done is defined as for constant force work done is force dot position vector dot product of two vector so my force is 2i plus 3j minus 6k dot My position vector is two i. Sir, उटा तो two i होगा ना ना उटा तो four i होगा. Sorry, sorry, four i. Thank you. Four i minus eight j plus eight k. Now the dot product is two 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 into four plus three into minus eight plus minus one into eight. So eight minus twenty four minus eight that is minus twenty four joule. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yes. So I I can say from that, the force is uh, as the work done is negative. So work done can be positive. Work done can be negative. Work done can be zero because it's a scalar quantity. I. show you one more type of question of uh, constant force the question is that a block of mass 2 kg uh, is pulled by a force of 40 newton and upward through a height 2 meter find the work done by the block by applying force and its weight so you put a block here whose mass is 2 kg You are applying a force F, which is forty newton. Due to that force, the block moves two meter upward. So you have to find out work done by the force and work done by the weight, that is mg. So if I say work done by force, work done. By force, that is force. The displacement is h, and what is the angle between them? See, force is this direction. 90 degree. 
cash and 90 degree displacement is also same direction cos 0 degree right 0 degree so 40 into 2 into cos 0 is 1 that means 80 joule yes or no number 2 work done by gravity gravity is acting downward 2g h is acting upward when the, the, the moving is upward and the angle between them is what 180 degree yes or no so 2 into if we take 10 into 2 into cos 1 it is minus 1 so in that case my work done is minus 42 clear Everyone satisfied? Yes. I give you one more question from the, these are the type of question from the work done by constant force. My next question is, suppose a pulley is there, simple pulley, in which you have two blocks of mass, two kg and 4 kg. So the question is that uh, two, uh, two particles of mass 2 kg and 4 kg are attached at the two ends of a light inextensible string uh, passing over a smooth pulley as shown in the figure. If the system released from rest, meaning your initial velocity is zero when the time is zero, released from rest, uh, find the work done by the string and gravity work done work done by string and gravity for both the block both the blocks in five second in five second you can take g is 10 meter per second square so see how you solve this question uh, we know this question from newton's law how to find out the acceleration on all, all these things ah. so first of all i can say my main aim to find out tension on the string and acceleration i can write 4g acting downward you all know this i think 2g tension is t tension is t this block is moving downward with an acceleration a this block is moving upward with an acceleration a so i can write 4g minus t 4 into a t minus 2g 2 into a so tt cancel 2g is 6a a is 2g by 6 that is 20 by 6 that is 10 by 3 meter per second square yes or no yes or no and once you get the acceleration, tension is 2g plus 2a, 20 plus 2 into 10 by 3, that is 60 plus 20 by 3, that is 80 by 3 Newton. Everyone satisfied? Hello? Yes, sir. Now, see, as it is given 5 seconds, so we have to find out first of all within five seconds how much distance traveled by the block each block because it's a simple string so you can calculate for each block block and by using this you can uh, try for the complex ball block uh, pulley system also which i already show you so distance is ut plus half x square i just give you an example so you can think in that way Acceleration is 10 by 3, and this is 5 square. So what you have, 5 into 25 by 3, that is 125 by 3 meter. Yes or no? So now, my tension is, I know the tension, I know the uh, so displacement, so now I can write for 4 kg block. So 4 kg block moving which direction? Up or down? 
Anyone please respond? Devolina? Sir, down. Down. So for 4 kg block, tension is upward. So for, for 4 kg block, by tension, if we want to write by tension, work done by tension equals to, see, my tension is how much? 80 by 3 Newton. And it is moving which direction? Downward. How much distance? 125 by 3. And what is the angle between tension and the downward? 180 degree. Cos 180. So what we can write here? Uh, 125 into 8. How much is it? 200, 200, 500, So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 by 9. And as it is cos pi, so minus, minus. 10,000 by 9 Joule. Now, work done by gravity. Work done by gravity. Mg, 4G, the distance is 125 by 3 and downward. That means cos 0. So, what you have? Uh, 5,000. Because 4, oh, 40, ha, 125 by Three, that is five hundred by three joule positive. Yes or no? Everyone satisfied? Yes. Sir. Now, for for two kg block. Uh, <clears throat> Work done by tension. See, 2 kg block is moving upward and the tension is also applied upward. So we can write 80, even we can write directly 80 by 3, 125 by 3 into cos 0. That is 10,000 by 9 joule positive. And work done by gravity work done by gravity that is 2g upward uh, sorry downward 125 by 3 upward so the angle is 180 degree that is minus 2500 by 3 joule yes or no <coughs> everyone satisfied Yes. So next one is work done by variable force. Next one is work done by variable force. Work done by variable force. By variable force. So for work done by variable force, dekho, suppose my graphical is also variable or what do you mean by graph also? I just want to show you that also. The area under the graph, whenever you have graphical question, so work done that is the integration of f dot dr. Suppose my r1 position, this is my r2 position. Here, the force is not constant, force is variable. So R1 position to R2 position, you can take it as a coordinate also. That is equals to, in terms of, if it is graphically given, so area under the graph. Kiss me, force displacement graph, yes or no? Huh? Aaj log at least work done by variable force karte hai. And in the next class, we see the rest part. Okay. Uh, all the goods which I it is just starting here. So I just want to give you a question of work done by variable force, but I should have a basic question. Hai. An object is displaced from a position R1, that is 2i plus 3j 
meter to R2 that is 4i plus 6j meter under a constant force F which is 3x square i plus 2yj newton. Find the work done by the force. Find the work done by the force. Find work done by the force. So, it was work done by the force. Deco, the formula is work done is integration of f dot dr from r1 position to r2 position. And here, a very, very important thing is that r is a position, it can be x axis, y axis, and z axis. So, how you get the small part dr, dxi, dyj, dzk? So, now we use this formula. Okay. Say so this, uh, I'm just giving here two variables. So, th that is this one and this one. So, I can write 3x square i 2yj dot. As I have two variables, dx, i, dy, j, I don't need dzk because it is not there. So if you put it also, then also it is zero. And my coordinates are two coordinate, x coordinate, y coordinate, x coordinate, y coordinate. So I can write 2 comma 3, initial, final is 4 comma 6. So what happened? 2 comma 3, 4 comma 6, i dot i1, j dot j1. So we have 3x square dx plus 2y dy. If we see it properly, this type of integration is called uh, double integration. If we involve three axes, x, y, z, this is called the triple integration. You can say you don't know double integration, triple integration, because in your syllabus only have the uh, single integration, but it's very simple. Uh, don't make it so complex. Make it. 3x square dx, 2y dy. So now it's a single integration, but as they, they are two di different variables, so that is called the double integration. Okay? x ka value dekho kaha se kaha gaya hai, 2 to 4, y ka value kaha se kaha hai, kaha gaya hai, 3 to 6. Can we write in that way? Huh? Yes, so, sir. Now, see, we know the integration 3, x cube by 3, 3 to 4 plus 2. Ah, ah. So much frustrating. Mohalaya chalai di se kutha hai. Kato din baki hai chale Durga Pujo? Mohalaya chalai di se kutha hai. 34 days baki hai. 3 square, 3 square. Mahalaya Kabi Mahalaya. Six square minus three square. So sixty four minus eight. Thirty six minus nine. After this, fifty six plus twenty seven. That is eighty three June. Okay. So I'm stopping it here today. In the next class, I show you the rest part. Okay. Next function Okay, so I'm stopping it here. If you want to take a screenshot, you can take. So, I'm going to take a note. I'm going to take a note. I'm going to take a note. I'm going to take a note.